good at Instagram. You pick a niche, you find what they want, and you give it to them. guys i'm gonna keep giving value as much as possible so i'm gonna answer a few questions if you have a DS direct message or you ever have a question for me you can always dm me i'll get to it at some point since there's so many but my goal is to always reach you guys and give you what you need i care about you so so much so with that being said my question i got today and i had i felt passionate about answering it so aiden a friend of mine asked me your posts get really fast engagement in the first hour or really quickly how do you do that or what are your best tips to have that happen I actually don't think that it's that important. Maybe my I didn't even realize how fast you guys are in regards to liking my posts and commenting, which is awesome. You guys rock. But to be fair, Instagram is not chronological. It doesn't matter what time you post. I think maybe if some bull answer would be like post at 7 to 8 p.m. every day and get your but like no like the truth is like for me it's honestly I've gotten better at this. It was it used to take a long time for people to engage and see the post. I actually post less now on purpose and I do quality over quantity and now with the new algorithm it wasn't like this always uh, before it's like post whenever you want but if you can see a lot of bloggers are actually toning it down in post times there's a huge squeaking noise in this apartment I'm really scared I would say post less but even if you post less and it's not getting engagement there's also another huge factor so it definitely comes to quantity or the amount of posts and quality but the, the next thing I have to say is like do people care are you writing enough captions is it long enough for people to stay on there so Instagram boosts the profile I always say longer captions but are you even being relatable to your audience because here's the thing guys and I'm gonna, it's gonna lead into the next question I got is people have a niche but they don't know what to do with the niche anymore like how to be good at Instagram you pick a niche you find what they want and you give it to them so for example a lot of you guys are maybe in fashion maybe just like style lifestyle like that doesn't really change some that doesn't help someone it doesn't bring anyone value to be cute right it just unless you're gorgeous but like even then like Instagram models I think they're going to face huge decline. A lot of brands are sniffing out the bullshit as well. Like they can smell when a influencer buys their followers and buys an engagement groups. And I don't really believe in that. This is business 101, okay? This is just like, are you narrow enough for a niche? And are you bringing value to them? And this is very cliche, but you need to find their biggest problem or at least make them feel better or entertained. My biggest tip, if you're not getting fast engagement is if you're not giving them an incentive to be the first follower or first comment. I reply to most comments, but people know that in the first hour I reply faster. So then they tend to comment and engage. It also helps that I have a very strong YouTube family. I consider you guys as like you're like probably the strongest squad I've ever seen. I think you guys are amazing, and a lot of people don't have a good follower base because they're not able to bring value to their audience, so they don't have a f reason to stay on there. Aiden, I'm not sure that answers your question, but I believe it's one of two things: your posting quality or quantity is not there, or you're not bringing enough value for a specific audience, and you're not going narrow enough. You're going too wide. Because guys, think about it. I'm not in any engagement groups anymore. I don't even fucking. You can look at my posts. I don't even use hashtags, and I think it all becomes down to: Are you being narrow? enough and are you really helping people do people actually care about this if not then change your subject change your niche or move to a different platform so i'm going to open up a question i got from um one of my email inboxes okay so christian asked hey i found ty lopez and gary v but they haven't told me much about how to pitch your service as a social media marketing or how to pitch as an influencer to a company i got it this question's very very good at the end if you guys want to stick around i'm going to talk about like maybe my business or just things I've had in mind. A lot of you guys don't know, but I'm actually like in regards to YouTube, like there's something else I'm building as well. So I'll get into that. How to pitch. Similar to Aiden's question on why do people get fast engagement? It's like when you're in business and you're trying to get that fast email or reply from a company. So a lot of you guys are influencers and you want free products or brand deals, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter unless you have actual value. So the thing is social media marketing clients, they want money. They don't fucking care about your management of how often you post. They want to see return on investment. You can't really pitch to them unless you get their uh, guard down. And I know Gary, sorry, I, th I know Gary and Ty Lopez never go in depth. It's just because it's very hard to pitch to someone if they're not listening. So how do you get their attention? Cold calling, cold emailing. But even then, you guys can try it. It doesn't work. If you just cold email a company, like your conversion rate's like 2%. My best thing is to get that meeting and get that attention from the brand. It takes a lot of networking in a lot of time i think my biggest step is to go start cold calling it is start to get in, like relationships in the industry you want to go to maybe you want to be a um you know sports blogger and you need some 
merch, I don't know. Direct message every single one, just tell them all about yourself. It's most likely that they're not gonna reply, but like 2% will, right? And then that's all you need, and you just need one of them to get a case study. So when I say pitch, I'm assuming you guys are already at that stage where you're, you're going into an interview or going into a meeting, and I think it's one of two things. So you can say blah, 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 I will provide you this, but you actually need to provide money, you need to provide how much you can double their sales, you need to provide actually how much you can help them, not just post for them or post a cute picture. You need to be straightforward. If you don't know your answer, if you don't know how much money you're making, don't pitch them, they're not gonna listen. And I think that's just the biggest thing for beginners is you have to be very like sturdy with money. If you guys are ever my students for coaching calls, I make it very clear in the beginning how much I charge, how much I'm gonna bring you. Because at the end of the day, sales is all about selling your confidence. So be very confident in what you can bring. I mean, I don't, you don't have a pitch script. Like there's nothing like that. You should do the following though, know who you are and just find their biggest problem and that's all you need. I normally don't talk about sales a lot, but sales can be applied to influencer marketing. In my, in my business or in my, I guess, you know, consulting, I don't know like what to call myself just because I only have like a few clients in regards to just like people like call and phone call and help coach their online social media business. But like, so I want to create a marketing agency, but solely for artists, so producers and people in the arts field. I feel like a lot of talented people can't do the marketing side and that's what I want to create with a couple products and I'm not going to do the like door-to-door -door social media marketing. Um, I think I can do a little bit better and I'm gonna start using some of my influence on YouTube. I already have a few people I'm working with and I think it's a slow start to something really cool because I'm using Alexa in my application for these personal brands. And just to summarize everything, all I care about is getting enough attention for you guys to convert it into profit. So that's what I do for my students, but I'm really trying to niche down into a artist marketing. That's what I'm doing and it's really cool. My uh, apartment living, I guess, is like right by Capitol Records. It's actually very inspiring and I really hope, <laughs> sorry, I can't say hope. I believe that one day it will take off and I will work it out and I'll try really hard. And I mean, you can dream how big you want, but I really have a big dream. Being in LA really inspires me and I hope to come back here again. I'm leaving actually tomorrow morning to San Francisco for another meeting for my family's marketing agency client, but I will be back here and it's really just humbling actually. I don't, I live in a very humble apartment back home. So this is very big for me, but it allows me to think bigger. And in regards to you guys having questions, I keep letting them come in because I will find an answer for you guys because I'm just solely focused on helping you grow your social media and grow your business and like just create the life you want. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. I think I'm gonna go up to the pool. Just have a good pool day. Good. Oh, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, I want to know, guys, how long you've been subscribed for. Were you here when I was in 2,000 subscribers? 100 subscribers? One subscriber? Were you here when I was in 999? I want to let you know where you guys are at. Thank you so, so much. I am so happy to have you here, and there's going to be so much more content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. What's up guys, thank you so much for watching. Hold up, if you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me and I really appreciate it. Mwah.